Hello, I've posted in the community section. If you haven't seen that, please subscribe and then you can see when I post a, a note there. And I'll do that if a video is gonna be later than I say it will, because I'm gonna try and get these out regularly now. So the building has stopped, but somebody has been playing a trumpet. <laughs> I'm not even joking. <laughs> well, now, now they're self-conscious, I think, because they've stopped playing. <laughs> So this is going up later than planned, even since my comment. The building finally stopped, maybe because it's the weekend. So there were some bits I wanted to add to the video that I'd already nearly finished editing. In my last video, I quoted Jamie Spears as saying that all daughters are manipulative and cunning. If you haven't seen it yet, please have a look at the link I'll put under this video. His son, Jamie's brother, has similarly negative views about women. Like, what does free Britney mean from your understanding? What are all these people speaking about? They feel like, you know, like it's, I don't know, maybe she's being confined or something or held against her will. Have you ever seen anything that led you to be concerned that your sister was being held against her will? Oh, uh, every day. They, <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> I mean, like, when, the women in this family are very, very strong-minded and have their own opinion and they want to do what they want to do. And as much as I admire that as a guy and being like one of two guys in this entire family, it kind of sucks, man. I think he's been taught by his dad that this is the way to view women. This is the right way to think. You learn to have contempt for the way that other people think because that parent has contempt for them. That's the dangerous way to think. If you think like that, you're going to get bullied or you're going to get ignored. And so in that way, everyone in the family learns to be under the authority of the puppet master. Everyone allows their strings to be pulled by them. And your dad was a, a, was a big part of that at the beginning, and he remains a very uh, active part of the conservatorship. I think, you know, he's done the best he could given the situation he was put in. And, you know, we've, we've had to like work together as a family to kind of keep it all going. It's been a great thing for our family. Britney's sister has said she supports her, but as I said in another video I made about this, she also talked about Britney as if she was crazy. I don't care if she wants to run away to a rainforest and have a zillion babies in the middle of nowhere. It doesn't seem like respect that's coming from her. It seems like she's learned to have contempt for Britney. I think it's extremely clear that since the day I was born, I've only loved, adored, and supported my sister. I am only her sister who is only concerned about her happiness. Maybe I didn't support her the way the public would like me to with a hashtag on a public platform, but I can assure you that I've supported my sister long before there was a hashtag and I'll support her long after. Not that I owe the public anything because my sister knows I love and support her. And that's the only person I owe anything to. Brittany responded on Instagram. There's nothing worse than when the people closest to you who never showed up for you post things in regard to your situation, whatever it may be, and speak righteously for support. There's nothing worse than that. She added that they hadn't even put a hand out to even lift me up at the time. How dare you make it public that now you care? Did you put your hand out when I was drowning? Jamie Lynn's post is very much about her. She wants the public to know that she supports her sister, but she doesn't talk about Britney. She doesn't talk about why people should support her, what a wonderful sister she's been, what she's achieved, or why she deserves to have her rights or anything like that. It's just about her and how she wants to be perceived by the public. I'm not my family. I am my own person. I'm speaking for myself. I'm so proud of her for using her voice. I'm so proud of her for requesting new counsel, like I told her to do many years ago. The point is that Brittany couldn't have her own lawyer until now, and she's proud of her for following her advice. <laughs> and she wants us all to know that she's the one that told her to get her own lawyer. So it's down to her. Like I told her to do many years ago. Oh, not on a big public platform, but just in a personal conversation between two sisters. So I'm very proud that she's taken that step. If ending the conservatorship, if flying to Mars or whatever the hell else she wants to do to be happy, I support that 100% because I support my sister. I love my sister, always have, always will, as long as she's happy. So. 
Let's keep praying. That's all. She seems to be angry with Jamie Lynn. She said this in an Instagram post. I don't like that my sister showed up at an awards show and performed my songs to remixes. My so-called support system hurt me deeply. And in another Instagram post, she said, may the Lord wrap your mean ass up in joy today. She ended up taking this one down. I mean, she's always wanted to get out of it. So yeah, she's, she's wanted to get out of it for quite some time. What level of that it? Is the reality? I, who knows? You know, it's like I love Drew Plotkin's questions here and the way he really brings Brian Spears's contempt for his sister to the surface. If you want to see the whole interview, please have a look under the video, and I'll put a link there. When you say that, meaning you're not sure if she means what she says. Well, I mean, think about it. She's been surrounded by people and a team of people since she was 15. So. At what level does everyone just walk away or at like what level does that get reduced you know right but I, i'm gathering that what you're saying is that maybe i don't want to put words in your mouth that maybe you, you ask her certain things she answers and you're, you're not sure that if she's answering she's either being 100 percent truthful or if she what knows what she's saying i'm just not or clear. just like you know i mean I'm, I'm i know what she wants but i'm just saying like you know at the end of the day how what is the reality of that a narcissist family is so brainwashed that they can't imagine that the status quo of the family could ever be questioned. And when it is, they can't think rationally. They can't listen to reason. So you, are you going to call and make reservations for yourself today? Are you going to like, you know, like... So, yeah, I mean, I can understand like the reservation part and helping with basic tasks. You can get an assistant. I mean, we, we work with a lot of celebrities in, in our line of work and, you know, it's not uncommon for celebrities or athletes we work with to have two, three, four assistants. Everyday task stuff, I think is probably going to be, I mean, it's a great challenge, but it's probably going to be quite, I mean, like driving. She's the worst driver in the world. I'm not lying. Like, like bless her heart. Like she really is not a really good driver and she hasn't had to do that so i'm right. sure and i have know, uber she... these days you know now they have uber and yeah Lyft and I, I don't know up here in west like though it's like not a whole lot of ubers up here so <laughs> even though presumably she passed a driving test the reasons he gives do make me wonder if she has any formal diagnosis because the reasons are each ridiculous, you know, and none of them make any sense as to why somebody should be under a conservatorship. They're, they're just so um, trivial. So if she had a diagnosis, you would have thought that he would have mentioned something a bit more serious than this. This all stemmed from a point in the interview when Drew Plotkin asked if he had a favourite sister and he said yes. In my last video I mentioned that I think his favourite sister is Britney and people have said that this isn't true, that Jamie Lynn must be his favourite sister because um, he has contempt for Britney. So I'm not suggesting he has respect for Britney, but that she's easier for him to be around because she doesn't show her feelings in the way that her sister does. Jamie Lynn will be more obvious about what she thinks and feels. And I think she puts up with a lot less than Britney usually has done. Hence her father talking about how she was a troublemaker and her own person. If they agree with Jamie, they're going to be seen in a positive light they're going to be seen as capable in comparison so that's also good for them you know it, get, it means that they get to shine a bit they get to have some power and glory and it looks to me like Britney's brother needs his power the way he talks about how Britney's done it, it seems that he thinks that this is about his efforts he doesn't seem to recognize that this is about Britney that her success is down to her and she said she's not going to perform anymore as long as her dad is in control of her life. So she's recognised this, you know, and she, she wants to be her own person. She doesn't want to be a puppet for her dad anymore or for her family. Since Jamie Spears and Lynn, Britney's mum, split up, neither of them have apparently been in a relationship with anybody else. So even though they live separately, they still act as if they're married. Butcher had said to Lynn, do you, do you think that maybe you and Jamie should both be um, managing this conservatorship rather than him doing it on his own? 
and uh, and Lynn had said that she'd rather that Britney was angry with her dad and not her. But even though she was a part of getting the conservatorship started in the first place. And it seems that for Lynn, it's really important that she fits in, you know, how she's seen to behave by everyone in the family seems to be important. And it seems to be more important than what's actually true. More recently, she seems to have been going against things that Jamie Spears wants. So for instance, she's said that it's a good thing that Britney can have her own lawyer. And she was saying that it should be like that before. But but why? Is that because she genuinely wants that for Britney? Or is it about how Britney views her? That she wants to be in Britney's good books? What's actually real about her mum? Because she certainly hasn't taken any um, big steps to stand up for her daughter and to get her out of this conservatorship. If she had been wanting to fight it, if she had been wanting Jamie not to be in charge anymore because she knows about how frightened her daughter is of him, then surely she would have found out by now that it's possible to apply to get out of a conservatorship. So who can Britney trust in her family? It doesn't seem that she feels she can trust any of them because that's what she said when she last spoke out. It seems that the Free Britney movement and possibly the support of her boyfriend have finally given her the validation she needs to believe that she's allowed to have her own voice. And now that she does, she seems to be getting braver every day. Britney talked about being put on lithium and lithium is something that's prescribed for bipolar disorder. And I don't know if Britney has bipolar disorder, but if she does, it can be triggered by childhood trauma, as can schizophrenia, which uh, lithium is also prescribed for. And it's also prescribed for a major depressive episode. And again, childhood trauma and just a nightmare childhood can lead to being depressed as an adult. If Britney does have any of these diagnoses, and we don't know if she has any of them, because as I said in the last video, her dad has said there must be something wrong with you, which suggests that maybe nothing has been found to be wrong. Otherwise, he would know what was wrong. So <laughs> we don't know that she has any diagnosis, but if she does, then we can look at her life growing up and maybe not be that surprised. And so while the family have been pointing the finger at her and treating her as if she's incapable, she doesn't really know what she's doing, it's a family business that they're all profiting from at her expense and she just needs to toe the line, you know, she needs to be told what to do and ordered about and so on and be a good girl for all of them. Well, actually, it could be that they're a big part of the cause of whatever this mental illness is. And that's what Brittany herself has said. I've had emails and comments from people mentioning the Diane Sawyer interview with Britney Spears. So I thought we'd have a quick look at that, at how she handles Diane Sawyer's questions, because I think she handles them really well most of the time. So I'm going to leave it here. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. And then there are these people who actually pay money to add something to their engine to make it sound as loud as possible. And so every now and again, you'll hear one of those.